Welcome back, everybody, to Serene Queen TV. I'm your host, T, and today I'm going to get into Sophia Richie Grange, the new it girl on the block. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's talk in the comments. Go to the description, check out the website, and follow me on social media. Okay, let's hop in. Sophia Richie just gagged the fuck out of everybody with this extremely fantasy couture French wedding that she had okay over this past weekend I'm just loving it I'm loving all her looks I'm loving her glow up my girl Sophia just really snapped back on them I'm really loving it goodbye Hailey Bieber goodbye Nicole LaPelz and all the other Nepo babies okay with this one the Nepo baby is Nepo babying like I'm feeling her a lot of people are feeling her people are loving the wedding she's making all the waves on social media right now and she is just causing quite like a stir and commotion and I am really loving it because I feel like we need Sophia Richie Grange okay we need that image in society of a girl really showing you like look, I'm going to have my phase and I'm going to grow up and like have an amazing comeback. Like just because, and like just doing it, just showing the girls how to live. You know, I really hope that she uses this opportunity and all of this shine and press to, you know, launch a bunch of brand deals or start her on YouTube or do a bunch of like high end collabs. Like she's already featured on Vogue with like her wedding dress fitting and people are super into her. So she, you know, totally needs to brand herself in my opinion as, um, that rich housewife that's like living the dream. Her content needs to be about, you know, bougie ass homemaking, diet, exercise, beauty. Like that needs to be her content. We need girls like her in the mainstream media, pushing marriage, pushing happiness, pushing being in love, pushing the glow up. Like in this generation, modern women, and it's not just like Gen Z, it's mainly like I see it a lot with just Gen Z women. No, 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 millennial women. You know, women from, a lot of women, I think from like 25 to 45. So I guess that's a little bit of what, boomer or Gen X, I don't know. But, you know, that age range, the modern American women are getting more money and more education ever now than, more now than ever. And they want the life. They want the luxury life. That's why you see all these trends with the soft girl era and, you know, um, just women brunching and lunching and buying bags and the Instagram models and, you know, women just having higher standards for men and requiring men to really do, like, things for them that help them out like there's no point in being in like some dead ass sorry ass struggle love relationship and that's why I'm really feeling Sophia's just rise and I feel like yes like she's our queen like she is our just she's our fucking new it girl y'all she is like because let me go down the list okay who do we have we don't like Hailey Bieber. Hailey Bieber is so is so lame. Goodbye, girl. Okay, she and how you married, but you still running behind your man. Like, girl, get up out of here. Okay, no, and that cracked out ass marriage. And low key, they saying she and Handler. Okay, so no. Um, goodbye, Hailey. You're not interesting. We're not feeling you. Who else do we have? We have Kaya Gerber, but she's, you know, she was pulling PR stunts with that dude from Euphoria. She's not a great actress. She was fun to watch on American Horror Story, but, you know, she's, she, girl, book some more roles and, like, maybe we'll, like, just be more interested. But I just haven't really heard her name out there. She really hasn't been making super wa big waves lately. So I'm wishing her more acting gigs. I think that that would be good for her. But I'm also hoping that she takes some acting classes, too. No shade. 
Um, because I see it for her. I just want her to be better at what she's doing. She's a beautiful girl. I think she, acting is really fun for her. She just, she's got to just develop her talent. Um, or develop her crab. Who else do we have? The Hadid sisters, as far as our it girls, our, like, white knuckle baby it girls. <sighs> okay, Gigi Shahadi, she didn't have her baby or babies. I don't even know how many kids she got. I just know her name broke up, and now she got these kids, and she a mama now. She kind of... She was she was laying low, but then was trying to be seen with Leonardo DiCaprio. It just was a lot. I don't know what she got going on. Like she just really not hitting no more because she kind of chilled out on modeling. Um, Bella is really popping, but I think she didn't she sit a season out or something. Like I really haven't. I didn't see her at the last like big run of like runway shows. I know she was dominating at the season before, but also last time I saw her, she was so damn skinny. You know, I was just like, oh my goodness. It's been a long time since I've seen somebody suffer from what looks like anorexia that bad. Like, who, oh Lord. So I'm wishing uh, Bella health. But, you know, she she, she kind of pushing. We love Bella. I think people like Bella Hadid. I know I'm a fan of Bella Hadid, but I think she definitely pushes negative her just because of what she's doing in her life and how big she is she does have an influence her being so damn thin does push a negative image onto young girls um who else do we have nicola pelts lily rose depp we don't give a damn about lily rose depp people not think about her um cara delavine she you know i'm wishing her that she gets sober and figures her shit out and who else did we have Nicola Peltz, okay, we don't really care about her like that. I think a lot of people like how Brooklyn really is into her, how he really loves her, but, you know, they said that she was beating her motherfucking nanny ass, and she didn't have, you know, she didn't rebrand her motherfucking face, too, and stuff for the public and for the media, whatever, but just she not really making waves like that so you know what i'm saying there there's room the kardashians is on their way out and see this is why we do need sophia richie because the kardashians is leaving people tired of their trashy asses people want quality people want quality it girls all the girls i named these are girls who come from legitimate families and didn't i tell y'all and look what's, what's her name uh sophia got a drop of black on her didn't i tell y'all that when diddy get this new show you know saying him his black girl daughters they about to glow up as like the, you know the popping socialites they're gonna be like the new angela and russell and angela and what uh whatever the other one is vanessa angela and vanessa simmons they you know what i'm saying we need you know what i'm saying Meghan markle getting her shine come on like black girls rock black girls on the rise and i know you really can't really can't so consider sophia like all the way black no she's not she got about gonna drop a black in her but again my girl's on the rise she on the rise you know what i'm saying so come on girl like they got a complete lane for you to be in people need the good content people need the good influence we need girls pushing getting married settling down getting with somebody that you know what i'm saying is gonna treat you right and just living the motherfucking good life we need girls that's pushing the image because that's part of what is wrong with lori harvey and what she's pushing to the girls like Lori Harvey is a baddie, young, beautiful, whatever, but she's moving like an escort. She's moving like a paid, you know what I'm saying, paid by the hour type of chick, you know, pushing that city girl agenda to black women. Meanwhile, the white girls, they have great influence. They have, you know, again, Sophia Richie. They have uh, Nicola Peltz. They have Haley Bieber. Young girls under 30 who are married to well-to-do boys and men. You know, they're married to great guys. Like, the, it's so crazy. Black people, y'all better wake the fuck up. White girls, those, those are the girls that they get to follow. Black girls, we get, you know, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. And I love Nicki, but... She taking care of her man. Um, black girls don't need that, you know, image pushed to us. Um, we need to get pushed to us that we are the prize and that we can attract, you know, men who can really give us the housewife life. Like, come on. Um, we, we get we get Carisha, JT, you know, we get just again Lori Harvey, 
uh, you know, Tiana Taylor out here having threesomes and all of this foolery and all of this mess up in her marriage. I don't know. I just feel like, you know, ASAP Rocky and Rihanna ain't even married. And Beyonce and Jay-Z had a whole fucking cheating scandal. So even though, again, they're, they're our best representation with that mess. So, you know, just really peep game, y'all. Like, just with, on a deeper level, we, I'm, as society, because I'm always looking at society. Society needs a celebration of pure, authentic love. I, I really do feel like Sophia really loved this boy. I feel like they really in love as a couple. We as society, we need to see young people under 30 pushing marriage, pushing being together. Because especially in the black community, we are so misguided. We are so misled. They talking about some, oh, Lori didn't want to settle down so soon. Like, no, black women need to be getting booed up. Black, the black community needs to celebrate getting married under 30. We don't need to make it seem like, oh, you need to go out and live and be a hoe and try around town no the streets is rough hard and full of stds and bed bugs and when i say stds i'm talking about the ones at the clinic and the spiritual ones you know like just completely ratchet the streets ain't it we need to see as a society we need to see young girls celebrating again just getting getting out them streets leaving them raggedy ass drunk older men alone by dusty Okay, we, you know, y'all know who we talking about with his dusty ass, with his three-time baby daddy tired, run-down ass. Like, fuck him, oh raggedy hoe. Like, no, we need to see girls leveling up, getting up out of that, rising, you know, just cleaning themselves up, cleaning up they look, cleaning up they swag, blessing up. You know, putting into their beauty routine, and I'm, pr and you know what, Sophia looks so good. The way her and Kylie, and again, Kylie, she pushing negative images, so that's why no, Kylie, you and your trashy sisters, get out out of here. It's time for real class and real, real, the real bitches to step. Sick of these little escorts with a reality show. But at least Kylie did reinvent her face. And when I saw Sophia, you know, her before and after, I'm just like, you know what? Yes, I don't care. Do what's going to make you look good. Clean yourself up. Get your get your work done. Just like with, you know, I'm going to have to get my preps to Carisha and JT. I hate that they've, you know, made their bodies so video modelish. But I'm here for them, do, you know, getting their teeth fixed, you know, cleaning up their face, getting a, you know what I'm saying? Clean yourself up. Don't be afraid to go down to the med spa and get a few fillers, get a few facials, you know, get a few chemical peels. Do what you gotta do, sis. Like, shine on them, stunt on them. So, Sophia. Take this advice and boss up. I'm here for you. We need you in the media. We need people like you making rich, homemaking, bad bitch content. Do your thing and thank me later. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Y'all, Do y'all think she's the new it girl? I certainly think she is. I think she's the new it girl. And I think all the other chicks that I named are about to fade away in the dust. If Sophia capitalizes off this moment right here. Let's talk.